day number two of my four day Thanksgiving weekend. And in today's project, I am going to be moving my server, which is actually more complicated than one would assume. Yes, yesterday when I was shooting a video in the middle of the day, I just randomly got a huge cold sore. So this is my attempt to, to hide it. So don't judge me. I just didn't want to disgust you. Anyways, like I said, I am moving my server today. Uh, this is actually kind of a challenge just because, you know, everything runs to that part uh, of the room and everything, like the network connections and all that. Um, so I have a perfect spot in the spare bedroom right next to my computer room that uh, I think would be just literally perfect for a little server area. And I've actually been kind of thinking about doing this for a while, uh, but I'm very good at procrastinating and, um, yeah, that's why it's not moved yet. The thing is though, is that now I'm really, I'm hitting this like networking my house thing head on where I'm running cables and I have another cable I wanna run over to my entertainment area uh, that I will actually be used. So I'm excited to do that. But before I get into any of that, and before I start running more and more cables, I want to make sure I have a centralized location for my patch panel that I can put, you know, all of, or I can run all of my cables to. So I have a, a 24 port patch cable or a patch panel coming in and I got a bunch of keystone jacks and stuff coming in. Um, you know, those are on order, but before they get here, I do want to at least, you know, have some stuff set up so it's ready for it. And if I'm going to continue to run cables, uh, and I'm gonna put them in the right place, then I have to have that right place set up. So this is kind of a first step thing that I have to do before I can really legitimize my home networking. Hopefully you guys don't find these kind of videos boring. I know my ethernet one was interesting for me. This one is just moving a server and, and doing some knickknack stuff to get that up and running. Um, I might even sprinkle in running another cable. I don't know. Depends on how long this takes me and depends on how complicated it is. Right now, this is the mess that I have behind my computer, and I have a Test Azul. Uh, it's an Inspire PC that I'm doing some stuff with, video on that soon. Then I have my PFSense router that I've been testing that I don't actually want to use anymore. It's a poor choice of hardware as far as a USB NIC, but more on that in another video. And then a network switch that is connected to the PFSense router just for testing purposes. So basically what I want to do is take that Pull it all the way in here and put it right there. Seems simple enough, right? Simple in theory, um, but that means I'm gonna have to unhook it and power down a lot of things. I hate powering down computers, I really do. Uh, but I'm gonna have to unhook, power down, bring the internet down, move everything in, wire it, move some stuff up. I mean, it's gonna be a thing. So I'm just gonna jump right into it and stop talking because I talk too much. First thing I gotta do is remove whatever it is that this dude did before me. I don't know what it was used for, but it's coming out. I just ripped this thing a new hole. Uh, it had one of the regular blue um, boxes in it that were actually, you know, installed properly, but I didn't like that because it doesn't have a thick enough back for me to work with. So I just forced it out of there. Did a little bit of damage on the way out, but you know what? It's out. So things are getting a little hairy. Uh, I've attempted on a couple different occasions uh, to drill up and I had some like stuff marked off and I went through the bottom hole and I was trying to go up, but it's just not working. It's like getting caught on something or something. But uh, I, I really don't want to give up on this adventure of putting the server here, but I need an access port in order uh, to run a large amount of cables to here. So. It got me thinking, <clears throat> if I'm going to be running a bunch of cables to this one part of my house, I need a reliable way to uh, string all those cables, right? And that that would be really limited if I was going to be using the hole that that little drill auger bit can uh, make. You know, I'd be making like 15 million holes. So 
Now I'm thinking, I'm just gonna make it dirty, right? And I'm gonna freaking cut a hole in the ceiling. I mean, why not? You know, like what, what's, the, what's the harm in that? Just cut a hole in the ceiling, make it a, a box, and then have all the wires come down like a conduit type deal or something. I, I mean, right? I mean, what's, what could go wrong? You see, when in doubt, cut it out. Okay, now I have that cable pulled through from up here. So that's gonna be my little conduit area. Everything's gonna run to that, anything I run to the house. And I'm gonna have to put a connection on this so I can hook it up to my router and that will go to my switch which will be in the new server room and now that I'm here now that I'm moving everything since I have the extra slack on this cable I'm gonna go ahead and pull this cable that I ran yesterday through that little conduit area and uh, you know get it to where it needs to be all right hopefully this comes through oh snagged you want it snagged on Ah, uh, probably a good idea to get that started up there, maybe. Come on, bitch. All right, I guess I'll have to wrap it differently. Since this wall is on the other side of my computer room, so my server will be right here and this right there, is my desk behind all that so I just cut a uh, hole through the next wall and uh, I'm gonna get there's like a panel that has an opening with some like fuzzy stuff to hide wires or whatever so I'm just gonna use that as kind of like a direct connection for right now I I don't know I might cut another hole and make like an actual jack or a couple jacks but I don't know yet. Pretty much I'm still waiting on my stuff that I ordered, so I don't really want to go through the ringer of, you know, making the, the keystone jacks for, you know, my main computer room that aren't, you know, fully 6A, shielded, whatever, because uh, I don't want to have to redo those when those come in. So for now, this will do, and I'll use the same holes later. So I have everything set up. Kind of got this cleared out a little bit, did some cleaning, um, you know, that way it wasn't drywall everywhere. I think I'm pretty much ready to move the server now. Um, I'll just have to go through here and, you know, power down the computer because that's plugged into the UPS. Uh, once I move this over to this other room, I ran this other line back here or this other hole back here so I can run some lines through it. Uh, so then I'll be able to run power for my computer because I run everything on my computer, monitors and all that off of that UPS because it's a beastly UPS. But before I can do all that, I do need to power down, kind of take everything offline, except for the server, which it will go offline technically, but I don't have to power anything down because it's all on UPS. Um, so yeah.
and that's how you move a server. So until I get my, my keystone, the one I want to use for this, I'm, or for the connection from my router uh, to my switch, I'm going to use this temporarily. It might look pretty crappy back here with all the cables and everything, I don't know. Um, I have some temporary cables that I'm just holding over here until I have an opportunity to make better use of them. Um, more specifically, this is the one I ran yesterday, so uh, it's actually going to a room that doesn't need an ethernet jack, so I'm not really gonna worry about plugging that in or anything. I'll wait until I get my patch panel in the mail. Um, this one goes to the router, so again, I'm waiting for some waiting for some stuff in the mail before I hook that up. Temporarily, I hooked up this cable back here. Um, basically, it just goes directly to my router, and that's really all it's gonna do for now. It's just a Cat6A patch cable. Uh, it's obviously too long, but that's going to my switch, which powers the rest of the internet, or the, the internal network, and that will be like that until I have all the stuff I need to make this an actual uh, connection. As far as in here, uh, I have this which is the other end of that, again, waiting for you know the stuff I need to come in to make that a connection. And the only thing I have left that I'm gonna run is that in here I have the HD home run that is actually hooked up up there, but I think I'm going to relocate that. Pretty much I wanna relocate the, the antenna itself. Uh, I wanna run it up into the attic, uh, maybe even hook it up outside, I don't know yet. Uh, but since I'm running wires and shit, it's kind of something I want to do. That way I can get better signal because it does work right now. It's just not very reliable. So I want to make it more reliable. And the antenna's good. And for what it works, what it's one of those things like it's it's it works, but I only get a few channels that are legit always on and always working. Uh, the other channels, like they kind of break up. So I really don't use it that much. You know, and I invested, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks in that whole thing. So... That, no, probably more than that, like 250 but the point is that I have all that built up and I have it installed on Plex, but I don't use it because it doesn't work right, so I need to make it work 100% and not like 75%, so. And here's what's left in my other room. I have my computer powered on again. It is so much quieter in here without that server in there, uh, although I do miss the pretty blue. Uh, it's so much quieter. So basically these cables run here. I got the 10 gig connection going over to the direct connection to the server. Got a regular ethernet cable and then my power cable right there. And I have all that that runs back here. And then I can push this back against the wall into this little cubby hole and uh, should be good to go. Looks like from here, all I'm gonna be doing is doing some cleanup and just situating stuff in, you know, putting the server back into its little cubby. And that's it, it's pretty much done. Uh, definitely took a while just to move my server and make it done somewhat right. And I do need to wait for uh, some additional parts to come in the mail before I can you know, legitimize everything and put in my patch panel and make more keystones, that sort of thing. Uh, but as it sits, the server is now out of my computer room. My computer room is much quieter. And now I have a centralized location with a hole and a pre-ran pre rope in order to uh, pull cables through it easily. So. Now I'm just gonna start the adventure of running cables when I see fit. Well guys, like I said, I wasn't sure if you're gonna enjoy this, but hey, I had a little thing to do and I figured I make, might make a video on it. So if you did enjoy it, like and subscribe below. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.